we've got tons of capacity now 10 HDU beds in there that's awesome uh, I do want us to try and get it uh, a little bit more comfortable over here for people so I'll put like a, a sofa in there we'll put a little um, uh, a little cabinet maybe on both sides uh, maybe just on the one side really we'll put the radio on there um, there we go a radio on that side over there we need to put some stuff there maybe I don't think we can actually do privacy screens uh, let's try uh, it's a little weird no we're not gonna put privacy screens in there what I was kind of that's a sofa there that's good a TV yeah a TV maybe we can squeeze a TV in somewhere it's pretty full now to be honest but maybe we can squeeze one um, yeah maybe that works that seems to be a workable option and then what we'll do is we'll grab a TV and we'll put it in there is there anything else that they typically put in here I've seen the CRP stuff in there as well uh, let's see maybe what we'll do is we'll get one more cabinet I don't know if that's a workable option there in the middle uh, oh, actually actually one thing that we can do is we can do this kind of thing so what I'm thinking is maybe somewhere in the middle we'll do that and we'll put the CRP equipment in there oh bed sockets we need bed sockets I keep forgetting about bed sockets actually oh now nice and lit up now okay there we go uh, nice I want to see about getting some CRP equipment can I where would I get we don't need CRP equipment here but maybe I don't know if it makes a difference anyway let's uh, let's not do it now there we go okay now let's go on to the uh, to the regular ward right next to it over here um, I'm not gonna maybe what I'll do if I find that they're never full I'll start taking out beds and we'll get some nicer stuff going on over there or I'll move some of the beds to, to future wards um, so that's kind of something that I'll that I'll do we'll do a similar thing but this time we'll do it from this side yeah so that kind of looks looks the role the part over there now let's get this as our uh, regular ward there we go there we go let's get that this is going to be uh, modern beds again um, ooh, that actually looks a little bit more like okay we'll go with the modern beds the blackish color um, because blue is going to be our ICU so we can make sure that's the case so let's start it off on this side and see how that'll work okay good stuff similarly we'll do that over there nice 10 of them in there we don't need fancy stuff bedside tables please so this yeah okay good stuff something like that so what I'll do is we will get the defibrillator up on the wall here kind of maybe right over there somewhere we'll go ahead and get a sofa in place here right there we'll get what else can we do a bit of a cabinet with doors there so that there's a radio on this side nice uh, we can actually put a plant in these corners I'm just thinking about that that'll be nice and um, then I wanted to get a cabinet on the other side oh wall sockets is something that would be good get a cabinet over here also and we'll put the TV on that one good stuff so they've got the TV in there uh, bed sockets major additional capacity in our uh, in our wards up here so that means I'm getting a lot uh, I think it'll be good because our other departments might get um, might be better off as well to squeeze in another department up here and we'll just have shared lounge facilities and things like that okay the other thing we need is anything else oh let's get some plants in there just uh, just for good measure so I'll do a plant this way that way maybe up in this corner over there is that one yeah okay anywhere else plant in that corner there no it doesn't work there okay there we go that plant can tickle the guy's nose while they're sleeping there yeah 
Um, hey, Exact Chaos. First time catching the stream. Been watching all of this on YouTube so far. Excellent. What country are What country are you in? Um, I'm in Australia, in Brisbane to be exact, on on the uh, east coast of Australia. Thank you. I'm glad you're making it to the stream. Thank you. Thank you for doing it. And actually, actually, thank you for the support. Watching everything on YouTube. I'm glad you enjoy it. Um, okay, the next thing I want to do is get the diagnostics unit here. Uh, doo -doo, diagnostics unit, and then we'll need to see about. Do, are we doing six by six? Yeah, we're doing six by six. So diagnostics unit in there. What else do we have in here? A sonography unit, a lounge, the operating theater. Well, we've got the cash. Maybe we should just get our operating theater in place. We'll do that. Operating theater is now ready for business. Good stuff. So now if we get the staff in here, oh, what we need to do is make sure that we um, put some nice uh, doors in there, double glass doors right over there. I want to double check to see that we've got all of our corridors um, set up for for um, for the orthopedics unit, just to make sure that our our janitors will actually clean them. Um, a quick tip is don't do <coughs> long corridor sections because you can only have one janitor working at a time in a corridor. I believe that's that's the situation there. So we'll do something like that. We'll flip this around, this side around to someone else um, at a later stage when someone else actually does uh, one, one an once another department actually joins. Um, so that should be should be good. So all of that is ready for action. Now let's get some doctors in place over here. We're definitely going to need more nurses, so I'll, I'll, I'll squeeze out something there. Um, orthopedics, and we want a surgeon, please. Orthopedic surgeon, that's a night owl. Okay, let's uh, unlock some perks over here. That's a night owl, a good boss. I think we need to hire Mary Jones as our good boss. Ooh, actually, that could work as well. Um, James Taylor could be. There's, play, there's two options for good bosses over here. Um, his surgery skill is pretty good. So you're going to be our daytime doctor. Our nighttime surgeon will be um, will be uh, Mary Jones. Yeah, that's good. Excellent. Now uh, we need we need additional ones. We need anesthesiologist also. So let's go ahead and unlock these perks again. Anesthesiologist. That's pretty good there. That's some good stuff right there. So Mary Anderson, you. Uh, joining as the anesthesiologist. Um, anesthesiologist over here will be hmm, slow, long commute, that's terrible. Uh, dirty feet, a dirty feet anesthesiologist. <laughs> yeah, probably that's going to be the one. It's better than the slow and the long commute. It's better than the boozer. And I'm not going to, well, I probably will need to spend more money. Anyway, that's it. Let's go with dirty feet over there. And now an additional doctor that can do kind of diagnostics for us. That's the long commute. Oh, this is pretty good. I'm gonna grab Lisa Thomas over there. And then for the evenings, I want a diagnostic person as well. Oh, that's just a long commute though. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of the long commute that we've got up here. Um, but the evening piece, the resistance, the works more efficiently during nighttime, that kind of thing is pretty good. But maybe if we can unlock these guys, yeah, let's, uh, I don't like the long commute really, but let's grab it anyway. There we go. Now let's get some, <clears throat> some nurses assigned over here. So we need some surgical nurses. We'll go with, I believe two of them, right? Yeah, two surgical nurses for the day. Um, let's unlock these things so we can see that's a little bit depressed, unpleasant. I don't think that's too problematic though. This is going to be our evening one. So let's grab one. Um, let's get the evening one surgical nurse over there. Yeah, absolutely. We'll get more surgical nurses over here. The unpleasant seems to be okay. At least for a, from a surgery point of view, I don't see, see that that would be too problematic. And then another surgical nurse in the evening. Mm, not the boozer, definitely not. Um, over here, um, I'm guessing Barbara can do the trick. Then we'll just get extra extra um, nurses to do patient transport, so they can just be kind of 
uh, maybe clinical clinical nurses there that yeah that one's perfect and another one over here let's uh, unlock some of these things to see what we've got going on long commute is not good um, people person is fine I'm happy with that uh, probably yes Nancy you're gonna be the one so there we go nurses going on there um, <clears throat> I want to make sure that our surgeons don't go and do diagnostics okay surgeons do surgery um, you do diagnostics and you can assist with surgery that's fine Jane you do diagnostics and you can assist with surgery over here no diagnostics yeah okay no diagnostics no assisting with surgery um, over here no diagnostics no assisting with surgery we'll see if we have to flip this around at a later stage but I think that should work so now but that means that we actually need another set of doctors that's gonna look at um, assisting with surgery instead so we'll we'll keep an eye we'll keep a close eye on that for now we've got no patients so maybe it's not necessary for us to go go further you're watching from Denmark oh wow that's pretty early in the morning then for you isn't it mm. okay just a sip of water because um the long streams tend to uh, get my voice um, yeah, take, take it, take it, stole on my voice. Oh, the one more thing that we need over here. Oh, 213? Wow, that's commitment. That's real commitment. Um, the one thing that I'm missing over here is a bit of a restroom. So let's go ahead and uh, just add that. I think, oh, this is a, this is actually a prefab restroom, I think. Let's, uh, let's grab one then. Prefab, orthopedics, restroom. Yeah, that's the one. Other way around, there we go. Nice, restroom ready. Okay, good stuff. Orthopedics open for business, I believe. Uh, the other thing we need in orthopedics is our cleaning closet sorted out over here. So let's go ahead and get a ton of these things. Mm, one, two, three, something like that. And then we'll get a couple of carts over here in the corners and we will get ourselves a bit of a lab sink right there and we'll just grab a door right there okay so cleaning closet ready now we just need to assign a few people i'm gonna get some people assigned straight away this is a good one uh long commute though as long as the they're not both long commutes so i'll get that one and uh do long commutes long commutes slow they're not great are they uh, let's get this. Ooh, that's good. We'll grab, grab that one and uh, the long commute for the evening is not too bad as long as we have one that's not long commute. There we go. So now that should all be ready and done and dusted. So now we've got this department open for business big time over here. What's going on over here? We're doing some surgeries. I'm liking it. Uh, janitors are doing their thing. ICU is pretty full. HDU beds seem to be pretty full up here six and five to be honest we now have about the same number of beds um up there in these in these wards than we had uh, than we have spread all over the hospital on the first level so that's pretty cool we've got an additional operating theater we've got tons of cash in here well i want to watch the best streamer and the content right oh excellent man thank you so much for the compliment i do appreciate it i'm very glad you enjoy it and you're very welcome Good stuff okay diagnostics units happening over here we've got no people right no one is is joining our orthopedics um, team long wait for examination or interview where you're hospitalized yeah so you're waiting for the diagnostics unit understood I'm just thinking oh we're still waiting to get those two people um, hospitalized so if we get to the morning um, hopefully we don't have any ambulances out, so hopefully that'll stay the case. Where are you going? Are you coming into TC from observation? Yeah, that's that's the case. You're coming into TC from observation for the doctor to have a look at you. Are we going to figure out what's wrong with this patient anytime soon? You can try and sort the uh, try and sort the big general surgery ward. 
that's the, that's the plan. But uh, with people everywhere, it's very difficult to sort that. I would really like to do it, but I, I need to move the people at some point. I don't know how. Because once, when the people are there, oh, actually, we've got this person now sorted out. Are you going to, what's the treatment for this? This is just, yeah, just emergency stuff. Good. So you should be treated. Where's my doctor? You'll be treated in observation then. But yeah, so if I try and move this, right? So let's see, we're going to general, sur uh, to, uh, general surgery. I'm going to try and move things around. Okay, I can't actually move this. I can't move any of these things that's being used. And that's the problem that we have. So we kind of need to wait for the demand to die down a little bit. And then we'll start filling in the stuff. And ultimately, you know, maybe five is just about the right number, actually. Um, because ultimately, if the if the if the patients are now being spread to different uh, departments, that should should be quite helpful for us. Let's have a quick look over here. If we if we have a look, so we've still got three objectives to do over here. Not sure we're going to get to our 70, definitely not uh, today, because we're only having 51 patients come in. Um, cheapo care is done. And really, our prestige was poor, so we didn't get the stuff done. Oh man, that's just not right. Not right. I wonder if they've updated so that prestige gets a bigger hit. Our objectives for liver is done as well. These two objectives are both done. So we need two more ambulances in order to get, um, to get that one to open up. Which is great, I'm happy to do that. But I don't, uh, and maybe we should. Maybe we should spend the money on the extra, because maybe we should get, um, we should get the extra, the extra ambulances so that we open up the extra ones. Yeah, let's do that, let's do that. I think with only 51 patients coming in today, the extra ambulances could be fine. Okay, let's do that. We'll grab ourselves some extra ambulances over here. Can you get uh, medical uh, helicopters coming in this game? Uh, I don't think so. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm I'm I don't think so. Okay, so if we're on there, we'll slot in an ambulance, say there, and an ambulance right over there. And now we've got we can open up contract management and get quick snap in here. So what I'm wondering. Increase ambulance patients per day to five. My goodness, if we treat 70 patients. So now we need to unlock this one. Save after collapse to random, then random events start happening. Ah, very keen to start getting into random events. So the question is, which one should we close out? That one is still actually offering me some stuff. So potentially, I think I'll close out cheapo care and we'll, uh, we'll deal with that. I know it's a little bit less money, but they're still offering me stuff. So I want to try and get through those 14 objectives while these are done. So I'll close out Cheapo Care and we'll activate Quick Snap and we'll see, see how that goes. Save two patients after collapse. Yeah, it would have been very cool to have them land on the roof. I've seen, I've seen plenty of save a patient after two collapses. Okay, that's done. Now random events is available to, to come in. Um, what I've done is I've seen people use an open area outside and then just uh, kind of pave it like an H for the helicopter. But, uh, but that's it. So that had a lot of collapses there. What? Okay, hang on. What's going on over here? Who's not cleaning the floor here? That area has to be radiology, right? Okay, so radiology. Um, what? Who's this cleaning closet? I, oh, it's after the save. I've never changed it after the save. That was the thing. That was the thing. Okay, cleaning closet over there. Thank you. Okay, you need to be assigned over here, please. Thank you so much. The other one, you need to find you over here in the staff list of these guys. You don't have a workstation, so Brooke, you need to come and come and work our night shift over here for us, please. Thank you. There we go. I'm also maybe tempted to just get the extra ones in here now. 
Let's get someone else. Uh, yeah, you can come in. You've got no bad traits. Uh, you can come in as well. Okay, hopefully we can get this cleaned up a little bit quicker. Hopefully that helps us out a little. This need, really needs to be sorted out very quickly. Okay, close all of that out. Lots of messages. Is it the thought that counts? Yeah, it could be. Yeah, the thought that counts. <clears throat> okay, it should be very close to time for these guys to, uh, to be discharged. TC is happening. Uh, just want to see what's wrong with you. No, what's wrong with you? Aha! We get a, we get some people into orthopedics finally. Nice, good stuff. Good stuff. There is a trash button. Delete all messages. Yes, I uh, I know about that one, and I use it from time to time. But sometimes I just like flicking through them. Um. Good stuff. Where are you going? You're waiting waiting with patient going home. Patient needs to be hospitalized, right? Hospitalized, treated? Really? You're, you are... This is emergent... No, it's orthopedics. Why are you... Oh, still being examined. Not been... Yeah, figure it out. Excellent. Now, good. And that is uh, surgery, I believe. Oh, man. Hopefully that'll sort our cash flow out a little bit. Only 40 patients coming in today. Okay, we had people discharged here. There we had a discharge. Here we had a discharge. Um, nothing there, unfortunately. A few was discharged over here, but at least that opened up two HDU beds for us. At least two HDU beds that did get free up. So let's have a look there. Oh, three. We've got three open HDU beds, which I'm very happy about. Let's uh, let's go down here. So these patients should be moved straight away. Um, if you can delete the room, what do you mean? I can close the room so you can move things around. I can close, um, I can delete things, but there's no, the problem with that is, I think, I think we'll just have to wait a little bit. Let's just wait a little bit with that because if I close it, we'll lose these people. Oh, there's another one. Now we're pretty close to actually just having the one. Oh, what I can do, hang on, hang on. What I can do with all of these, no patients in here. Ah, I can, what I'll do is I'll slot in a few more beds down here. That's what I'm going to do. So with the game paused right now, we'll, um, we'll quickly go ahead and remove some of these internal things here. So let's do that and that, and then we'll get rid of some of these walls. So we can slot in a little bit more stuff in there. Okay, so you, um, no, no, we don't want to do that. We want to get rid of all of this. want to get rid of that. What we'll do is we'll move this one over that way, that one over this way, like so. And potentially we would also like, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. We'll move this over. Yeah, to be honest, what we could do is we could grab, um, I, I, I am pretty keen, so let's, yeah, let's not worry about that. I want the bed. So let's slowly um, make our way to um, to get the modern bed. So this is HDU, right? So we'll get the red ones. We'll get the uh, modern red beds in here. Why not? What's in the way here? Okay, let's uh, move this out a little bit. We'll try that again. Uh, rotate that. Okay, there we go. Now we can squeeze this uh, this in because you actually need. Okay, so let's get the 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 bed socket. In. Why didn't we not have a bed socket here? Anyway, bed socket there. We need. Uh, where's the? Oh, hang on, hang on. So we are actually messing around a little bit. Okay, that's got oh, the bedside tables. That's fine. So that, that whole section is done. Now we can add a few extras. So we'll add, okay, let's get rid of these things here. Uh, we'll just move. Okay, we'll do that, okay. Uh, I'll get rid of that. No, no, not the defib. Defib needs to stay. Uh, can I? Okay, let's just 
put the defib there for a minute. We'll close that out. We'll move the defib back. Ah, uh, sold the defib. Not, not what I was after. 